Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel and welcome to the third annual crossover Halloween collaboration. This is day two of four days of um, uh, premiere trains featuring 37 different artists from all over the world. Um, not just fluid art, but lots of different kinds of art. So there should be lots of really great Halloween inspiration um, for you. Uh, this event was organized by Donna from It's Art by Donna. Thank you for inviting me to participate again. I'm kicking off day two. There are eight more artists following me. Immediately after me will be Lena Park Art and then uh, The Morning Pour with Holly. Um, and so I hope you stay tuned, follow along on the premiere train. Uh, the links to the playlist will be in my video description. Um, since we're doing Halloween, I, I love to do um, angel wing pours, but because it's Halloween, I'm going to do a dark angel <laughs> wing pour. I'm working on a 20 by 24 inch canvas. And for this size canvas, I need about uh, 17 or 18 ounces of paint. I have mixed up a lovely kind of dove gray color for my base coat. Um, I've thinned it down a bit. This does leave a little bit of a mound, but it disappears fairly quickly. For my base coat, I really, it's only job really is to allow the other paints to flow down the canvas. So this is a little bit thinner than my other colors. Uh, the poor colors that I'm using, uh, I think this is gonna be really beautiful. I'm using, uh, for my center chamber on my three chamber split cup, I'm using uh, the same dove gray as my negative space so that it becomes the center of the wings. Um, and then I'm using Amsterdam Lamp Black, and um, this is Fire Opal from Folk Art Treasure Gold, which is a beautiful uh, coppery gold color. I can't wait to see how this looks. Um, and then I also have Deco Art 24 Karat Gold, and I'm going to layer the center chamber with the, the gray, which is the same as the base coat color. And then in the side chambers, I will be layering them with the gold first, the fire uh, fire opal, and then the black on top. Uh, the first color in the chamber is the last color to come out. So um, that means that the outside of the wings will be black, this will be the center, and then this will be uh, the last color, hopefully kind of like a, a gold highlight on, on the uh, feathers of the wing. So that's my idea. I'm going to put on some music for you so you can uh, enjoy watching this while I put down my base coat. Uh, I am going to elevate one side of my canvas um, and then pour from above. I'm going to get very close to the canvas and then just jiggle the uh, cup forwards and back to create those folds that become the feathers on the wings. So that's my process. Let's get started. Looking for hearts being 
Here is the wet result of my dark angel wing pour. What do you think? Would the Lord of the Prince of Darkness wear these kind of wings? I kind of think so. <laughs> I think this is really cool. So let me take you in for some details. Really, really get great feathering action here. I love that fire opal with the gold. Look at it as it comes up here. That black is gorgeous too. And it made some, the fire opal and the black made some beautiful cells too. Really, really cool. Full feathers. I love the way it gets wispy when it comes out here on the end. This one's beautiful also. I love the lines and the layering. Look at that right there. Isn't that beautiful? That worked out exactly as I hoped. So yeah, let's, um, Let's see how this dries. I'm not expecting any problems, but stay tuned for the dry result. And here we have the dry result. It dried beautifully and very spooky. <laughs> I love this dark angel wing pour. It's really beautiful. The, um, look at that fire opal and the gold. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. I love these cells that developed up here. Really, really nice. And that shimmer, man, you can't get past that. Look at that. It just glows. I love the, uh, the soft gray in the background. 
really, really nice. This worked out exactly as I hoped. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please check the playlist for the next artist uh, after me in the collab. And happy Halloween, everyone.